Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com where you're sure to learn the latest tips, tricks, and techniques and everything about Excel. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to say a great big thanks for everybody who clicked the like button yet on the last video. Really appreciate it. Got an overwhelming response of likes. And so if you like this video, please make sure you hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and then click on the bell icon so you're delivered directly to your inbox and notified that you have gotten a new video from me. Uh, so today's video is going to be a real quick tip on how to align your charts for a dashboard. Uh, now I have a lot of charts here and they're very difficult to select one by one sometimes uh, and uh, maybe not have them all be nice and neat, either aligned or sized. I'm going to show you a real quick technique and let's jump into it. All right, so as you can see here, I've got a whole bunch of charts. They're not the same size. Maybe I've accidentally been clicking on the charts, resizing them, and now they're all out of whack. Uh, so if I want to get, here's the quick tip. Uh, if I want to get all of my charts the exact same size, um, but I've got a lot of charts, I don't want to click on each one and resize them. Um, the easy way to do this, click on any chart. Click in the white space. Don't Make sure you're not clicking on any control like the title or a data series. Uh, click in the white area of the plot of the chart. Hit control and the letter A. You'll notice it selects all of the charts. It'll also select any images, which you can certainly unselect if you'd like. Um, but now that we have all of our charts selected, I can resize these in just two quick, easy steps. See, you've got a format ribbon now active. Click on the format ribbon. Go all the way over to the right and you've got a size area. And so here in the size area, the very top one is width and the bottom one is, uh, I'm sorry, the top one is height and the bottom one is width. And let's go ahead and change those. Let's make it, um, let's say a two and a quarter by three and a quarter wide. So 3.25, just type it in there and hitting the enter key. Notice that now all my charts are the exact same size. Saves me a ton of work by just clicking on your chart, doing control A, and you can get everything selected very quickly. Now, if I want to align these, um, if you haven't done any alignments before, um, click on any one of your charts, hold your control key down, and click the other charts that you're interested in moving. Um, and in this case, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on east, west, and north with my control key being held down at the same time. Going to go up once again to that format ribbon. Going to click on that and then over on the right hand side you're going to see an align button. Now I'm just going to go ahead and line everything up to the top and then I'm just going to move them all into place on exactly where I want them. Um, so pretty quick and easy and then um, for my bottom charts I'm going to do something very similar. Click on the first one, hold my control key down, click on the second one. I'm going to do format and uh, go all the way over to my align button and I'm going to do align bottom. And then once again, I'm going to drag and drop those until I get them, you know, pretty close. Now this is where it's going to be a little bit of a problem. Um, what I want to do now is just uh, make sure they're aligned east and south. So this left hand side, I'm going to click on east, hold my control key down and do south. Uh, and if I go up to my format ribbon, my align button, align left. Um, the left hand side's all lined up. The total and south are also aligned um, at their top edge. And I just have to repeat this pattern um, for the right hand side of my charts. I'm gonna click on north, I'm gonna click on total. I'm gonna go back up to my format ribbon. I'm gonna go align to the left just like we did on the left hand side. And now you can see we've got everything in perfect alignment um, for our Excel dashboard. Everything's aligned on the top, everything's aligned on the left and the right by those quick easy steps. Once again, the easiest way to select all your charts um, in, that are embedded within a worksheet, no matter where they are, click in the chart in the white space, hit Control A. Thanks for watching my video. Remember to hit the like button and leave a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my video channel by clicking on the EDT logo and then scroll down and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. If you need more details or links, click on the step-by-step -step image. Finally, check out these other videos you might also like.